I need to update you guys on the books that I read and the books that I want to read. Hi friends, it's Charity, and in today's video I'm going to be combining both my February wrap up and my March to be read. I don't know what happened in February, but I hit a little bit of a slump, but it's okay because it's still pushed through and I read a good four books in February. So let's get straight into it. First book that I read in February was Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. And if you've seen my last videos, I was like extremely excited to read this and I thought I was gonna love it, but it ended up taking me two weeks to get through and I gave it three stars. It just didn't make me feel the way I thought it was going to. So this is a friends to lover and a second chance romance. It follows Macy and Elliot and they were childhood besties until something happens and they end up not talking for like a decade, kind of crazy. But then Macy ends up back in town and she runs into Elliot and this book basically goes through them opening up about the past and trying to rekindle their relationship. Something I did like was that I was told in past and present perspective, so I very much enjoyed reading the past perspective more. Another thing that I really liked and wasn't expecting at all is like the plot twist that happens in this book. I didn't see it coming and in my opinion, it makes perfect sense why they stopped talking to each other. But there were things I just didn't really like about this book. Like once she comes back in town and this happens pretty early in the book, he like drops everything to try and be with her ASAP. And I was like, no. Like it's been 10 years, you know what I mean? Like maybe I just read this book at the wrong time because I did just finish a five star read and I guess maybe I got into a little bit of a slump because of that. But the first 200 pages took me a good two weeks. And then the last 200 pages I read in a night. So with all that being said, I do still recommend you give it a try if you're thinking about it because a lot of people love this. And I still gave it a three stars because overall I am happy that I read this book. Okay, the next book that I read this month. Oh my gosh. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I finally read it all like 550 pages but we got through it and we're happy we did because it was worth it now this got a whole lot of tropes it's grumpy sunshine small town romance kind of enemies to lovers and there's also fake dating which i didn't know was in here now naomi ends up in a small town where her sister is to help her out but her sister literally ditches her steals her car and leaves naomi with her 11 year old daughter that naomi didn't even know existed <laughs> Knox basically runs the small town and even though he's like a bad boy, reserved type guy, he ends up helping Naomi a lot. And so they end up forming a relationship through all of the drama. And when I tell you there is drama, it was so good though. I loved that this book was dual perspective because I was able to see both of them like slowly fall for each other and it was so so good but overall this book was great i gave it a four stars after reading like only romance so far this year i decided to like switch it up and read some thriller books so the next book that i picked up was verity by colleen hoover when i tell you how much i love this book this was my first thriller read i think ever and it was so good i wasn't expecting to literally be feeling all these emotions but i did i got goosebumps i got anxiety i got scared i was it was a lot so this book follows lowen who is given a opportunity to write for verity who can no longer finish her series due to medical reasons so lowen goes to verity's home to get a feel of who she is so that she could finish her series but so many things end up happening it's crazy. I'm still processing this book, if I'm being honest. Um, I still think about it a lot. Uh, the, the plot twist at the end, didn't see coming. Definitely, definitely a five star read. Um, very well deserved. I thought this was great. I read this junk in one day. I could not put it down, literally. And then I read We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. Now, this book. <laughs> It just wasn't for me, if I'm being honest. I didn't really like it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. On the back, it says, your best friend killed a man, now she needs your help again. It was hard for me to get through. There were moments where the pace was just really slow. And then when I thought it was going to pick up, it slowed back down real quick. So I found it to be predictable and also repetitive and just, um, boring 
there were just a lot of moments where I felt like we were getting nowhere and I was waiting for something to happen and nothing happened. So I did give this book like two stars. It just, it wasn't for me. It didn't do it for me and that's okay. Like as soon as I finished this book, I was like, okay, I'm done. I don't have to think about this book anymore. And I haven't since. <laughs> all right, those are all the books that I read in February. It is time to tell you what I want to read in March. So I'll start with my current read and that is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I'm still on this like mystery thriller type vibe. Basically there is a murder at a wedding and you're trying to figure out who the murderer is. It's told in like five different perspectives so it's pretty cool. And after that book I want to read The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I've heard so many good things about this book. I am so excited to read it. I believe this woman kills her husband and then doesn't say anything about it afterwards like she doesn't speak and then there's this um i believe it's a therapist a criminal psychotherapist he's the one that uh tries to get her to speak and apparently there's this huge plot twist at the end that i am most excited for and now after reading all those thriller books i know myself and i know even right now I just want to read a romance book. Aww. So I finally want to get into reading Ally Hazelwood and I have these three books. The Love Hypothesis is basically fake dating between a PhD student and the university's like most hated professor. I'm excited to finally read this book. I hear so many things about it and the cover is so cute. And then there's Love on the Brain. Honestly, I haven't heard much about this one. This one I believe is Enemies to Lovers and she's a scientist who is forced to work with like her nemesis, so. Yeah, and then there is Loathe to You, which are three novellas combined into one. It's her steminist novellas. <laughs> I have no idea what each novella is about, and honestly, I haven't even read a novella before. All right, guys, so those are all the books that I read slash want to read. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I like making them because I'm able to track my reading, and you guys are able to see what I think of these books. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a like. I will see you guys on my next video real soon. All right, bye. Mashing up, mashing potatoes. I don't know what my hair is doing. Books. What am I saying? And now I know myself. <laughs>